We're now ready to start work on the I.O. and the first thing to do is set our fans onto the radiator. Now I've already sized this up in the case and this is going to be the back so we're going to want the cables coming out the back. And then we're going to want to use these long thumb screws to attach the fans to the radiator. Next thing to do is take a look at the cables coming from each of the fans. So from each of the fans we've got two cables. The first is a 4 pin PWM connector and the second is a 3 pin 5 volt ARGB connector. So starting off with the PWM connectors, in the pack we get this triple splitter cable. So all we need to do is plug one of the fan cables into each of the ports in the triple splitter cable. So that's just going to leave us with one 4 pin connector which we're going to plug into our CPU fan header. Next we've got the ARGB connectors and Cutter Master do include this very nice 5 to 1 ARGB splitter cable. So we can remove the plastic protection from the cable and take the cable coming from our fan, make sure it's lined up the right way around and push into place. And Cutter Master include these little protective covers which just go over the top and that's going to prevent the cables coming loose. It's just the same thing for the other two fans. So all we're going to need to do is plug this ARGB header into an ARGB header on our motherboard or actually because our case has an ARGB hub we can plug directly into that and that's then going to control all the ARGB of everything plugged into here. Now looking we do actually have two additional ARGB headers on this cable which is going to come in handy if we move on and look at our pump. So taking a look at our pump we've got two cables coming from it. One is a 4 pin PWM connector which we're going to plug into the pump header on our motherboard. And the other is a 3 pin 5 volt ARGB cable which we can plug into the splitter cable. I'm not going to plug it in now because it is much easier to plug it in once we've installed the I.O. in the case. The other option that you do have for connecting this up is Cutter Master include a hub that comes with the I.O. You're going to be able to plug the ARGB cable into here. You've got two spare ports for additional ARGB devices and then it's going to connect up via USB 2.0 cable to your motherboard and using Cutter Master's Master Plus software you're going to be able to control the ARGB. I think just plugging the cable directly into the motherboard is going to be a little bit easier for this build. Next we've got a little bit of work to do with the pump. We're going to need to put the bracket on to secure the pump to our motherboard and the bracket that you use depends on whether you've got an AMD or Intel motherboard and which type of motherboard you have. So this is our AMD bracket so it's just a matter of lining it up with a little slot here and pushing it into place. We've then got these small bracket screws from the box which we can slot into place. And then all we need to do is screw them into place. And then it's exactly the same process down at the bottom. Then we can set our case's top panel onto the radiator and line it up with the holes beneath. And then we're going to use 12 of these shorter radiator screws to secure things into place. So you'll notice we put all the screws in loosely first of all and this is going to let you slide the panel into exactly where you want it and then we can tighten it up. Next we can set our top panel back onto the case and I'm just going to set it loosely at the top first of all. Then I'm going to feed all the cables through the cutout to the back. With all the cables passed through I'm then just going to slide the panel into place at the back and bring it down. And then we can secure the top panel into place with the two screws we removed earlier on. Next we can add some thermal paste to the centre of the CPU. Again you might find it easier lying the case down on its back. We've got some plastic protection on the back of the cold plate we need to remove. And then it's just a matter of getting the pump installed over the stock motherboard clips. Before I do I'm just going to tuck these cables in underneath the top clip to help route them up to where I want them to go. And then I'm just going to try and get the top clip over the bracket at the top. Okay so that's it over the bracket at the top. Just making sure these cables are well away from the cold plate. And then we just need to get the bottom clip over the bottom bracket. Okay so that's it over the bottom bracket. It's a little bit fiddly but we've got there. And then it's just a matter of tightening up the thumb screws together.
So I'm just gonna tuck the cables around to the back here. The next thing to do is get the cables plugged in. So as I've mentioned, we want to plug this into our pump header. There's three fan headers at the top of the motherboard and the middle one is the pump header. So we can line this up with the header and push into place. And then we're just gonna tuck the access cable through to the back. The RGB cable, I'm just gonna pass through to the back for now. And then I can bring the triple splitter cable with the fans on the radiator back through and plug it into our CPU fan header, which is the header just to the left at the top. And then again, we're just gonna push all the excess cable through to the back. And then we've got some plastic protection here we can remove. At the back of the case, the RGB cable coming from our pump, we can simply plug into the splitter cable that we already plugged our fans into. There we go. And then we'll put the protective covering on to prevent things coming loose. As I've already mentioned, we have a few options for this. We can plug this directly into our motherboard, but because we've got this RGB controller with two spare RGB connectors on it, I'm just gonna plug in to one of these. It's just a matter of lining things up and pushing into place. Thank you. 